you always have something to prove, you know? It's just uh, <clears throat> a new year, new season, and um, oh, I'm excited. Very excited. You have a lot of fried chicken and beer in the offseason? Right? <laughs> Does it look like it? <laughs> <laughs> what did you make of all the stories that came out, David, uh, after the season about the going on in the clubhouse? How much did it bother you, and, and you know, did it take much to move forward? Well, I guess uh, after you finish the way we did, always somebody has something to say about it. That's normal. And um, I think um, um, it's 2012 already. It's a new season. And um, <clears throat> I think the good way to start things is being positive. And um, so soon. So most of my teammates out there, everybody looked like he's ready to go. And this year is going to be a challenge, just like some other time. You know, it's a year that um, everybody had to come in and put themselves together and uh, try to uh, change things around. Your teammates are taking, uh, talking about taking on larger leadership roles in the clubhouse. Uh, how much do you welcome that to have a, a number of different guys leading in there? We have a lot of leaders, a lot of guys capable to change things around. I think that, that that's not going to be a problem. Sometimes you get caught into some situations and um, <clears throat> things get out of hand for a minute. But um, the deal that uh, people make about our clubhouse last year was bigger than, than what it was. You know, that's the way I see it. That's why at one point I was like, you know, whatever. I mean, you can make any story, you can say whatever you want, but we are the one who knows how our clubhouse runs, you know, and uh, I'm one of the guys that uh, I, I'm, I'm one of the older guys here in the team, and, and I know there's a lot of people watching me, watching what I do, and that's, that, that put me in a situation that I had to try to do things. Um, you know, not perfect because I am perfect, but very close. And um, my teammates, um, they had a group of hard worker guys. I believe in them. And and when I was listening to everything that people had to say last year, it got me a little be upset because it, it ain't like that. Though. You know, it ain't like that. You know, playing the way we played the last month and how things went down. Of course, you're gonna have the right to say whatever you want. <clears throat> but one thing I'm not worried about is literature. Yeah, I'm not worried about that because pretty much everybody takes things personal. Yeah, everybody wanna go out there and do something to help this ball club to win games. Did you feel added pressure last year because of your veteran status with the team and being along and knowing that guys looked at you so much? I always do. I always feel that. I, I feel, I've been feeling that for years. You know, it's not like it's new to me. And like I say, you know, guys, once they walk into our clubhouse, they already know what our goal is, you know. And, and you know, based on what happened uh, last month of the season last year, it seems like everything was going south. It doesn't matter what we do. It doesn't matter how things happen. Um, seems like everything was going to end up the way it did. Now, we're here this year to change things around. We learn. You learn from, from your mistake. You learn from, from, from your struggle. So I'm pretty sure that everybody's in the same page right now, and, and things going to be different. We had a new manager, Bobby. Um, <coughs> He have an idea of what he want to do with all of us. And I'm pretty sure that um, he's going to take over and, 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 and try to do his job. But David, how does it, David, some guys, though, <clears throat> some pitchers admitted that they did have the chicken and the beer during games, and you know they came out and apologized for it. The fans seem angry still about it. I mean, how, how do you address the fans as far as, you know, they're, they're seeing you guys have struggles in September. The stories come out that the guys admit that they did have beer and chicken. And, 
Well, I don't think, I mean, probably not because of the beard or the chicken. Probably the problem was when they did it, you know, and if they came out and apologized, that means they're not going to do it again. So because of that, you need to turn the page. You know, we're going to be thinking about the fried chicken and the beer that they have last September and March, February 2012. No, I mean, you're not going to resolve any problem with that. Now we have a new skipper that um, uh, he's aware of all this stuff and you're going to try to change things around. David, what, are your, early, what are your early impressions of Bobby? Hmm? What are your early impressions of Bobby and what he's done so far? Well, I haven't been here, you know, he's got here and, and we're going to uh, adjust ourselves to whatever he wants us to do, which is the right thing to do. And uh, But Bobby, he have a lot of experience, he's been around for a long time, everybody knows Bobby. And uh, it's definitely going to be, I think it's, it's a good time for him to walk in so he can pull his experience and play and uh, <clears throat> teach us how to do the right thing. You know, I think uh, um, sometimes, like I say, things get out of hand, and um, you sometimes you get caught into thinking that you do, you are doing the right thing, but you ain't, and you need to be reminded. David, and that's what change, you're here for. How does it change things for you to play on a one-year contract after being on multi-year deals and much of your time here? I've been playing on a one-year contract for the past few years, right? And of course, you wanna you you want not to have to worry about contract, you know. But that ain't for everybody, you know. what I'm saying that that ain't for everyone. And I try my best to uh, um, sign for the next few years. Didn't work out, but I'm happy with what I got. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, I'm happy with it. I wanna get over with um, from the very beginning. You know. Um, they were busy at doing a lot of things. I understand that. But now I'm, um, I'm back, I'm here, at least for another year. And, and like I always tell you guys, I'm gonna try my best. I always try to change things around when I'm on the field. And, and, and I think I'm, I've been a world representative of this organization for years. And um, <clears throat> that's, that's, that's what it matters to me.